Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 2.10, Problem 26. This is Section 2.10, Problem 26. We have 4 fifths minus 1 half in parentheses, and the parentheses are raised to the second power, or people would say squared, the same as second power. So, any type of math problem where there are parentheses involved, you must do the work in parentheses first. So let me deal with that. Now, in the parentheses, I have 4 fifths minus 1 half. To do the subtraction, I have to have a common denominator. Both these fractions have to have the same denominator. So if I'm working with a denominator of 5 and 2, 10 would be a good denominator. There are other things that could work, like 60 would be a common denominator, but you want to make the denominator as small as you can. You want the smallest thing that they both divide into evenly. So 10 is a very good choice for a common denominator. So now the 4 fifths, what's the numerator going to be? Well, look at what I had to do to the denominator to turn it into a 10. 5 was multiplied times something to make a 10. That something must be a 2. 5 times 2 is 10. So the numerator gets multiplied times the same value, times 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. And sure enough, 8 over 10 will reduce back to 4 fifths. It's an equivalent amount. And now the 1 half, I can see that it's 5, 5 tenths is a half, but if you don't see it right away, same process. The denominator was 2. I multiply times some value to turn it into a 10. The value must be 5. 2 times 5 is 10. And the numerator would be multiplied times that same value of 5. The numerator was 1 times 5. 1 times 5 is 5. So I get 5 tenths. It's a subtraction. It's still in parentheses, and it's still raised to the second power. But now I can do the work in parentheses. Now I have a common denominator. So combine the numerators. 8 minus 5 is 3. Common denominator is 10. And that's still raised to the second power, 3 tenths to the second power. So what that means is 3 over 10 times 3 over 10. And now when I multiply, you multiply numerator times numerator, 3 times 3 is 9, and denominator times denominator, 10 times 10 is 100. So the final answer is 9 over 100.